Just when you think the gender-critical fascist movement couldn't sink any lower, they pull a fast one to prove you wrong. And we'll get to discussing that in a second, but first, I just need to give a quick content warning for the following. Transmisia, anti-Semitism, physical violence, and intimate partner violence. If you like our work, please consider supporting the channel via Patreon. You can also support us by liking, commenting, and sharing this video on social media. Hey there, my name is Ethel Thurston, she, her, they, them, and today we're debunking lies put out by anti-trans fascists, including Turning Point UK. That's right, the UK's own chapter of the US-based fascist group, and oh boy, do they have some lies to sell you. But first, some background. Lit Women Speak is a brand created by gender-critical leader Kelly J. Key Mitchell, also known as Posey Parker, who asserts that a Jewish shadow state is transing white children to weaken the Western world. To help her promote her anti-trans and anti-Semitic agenda, Key Mitchell routinely circuits on far-right podcasts, inviting its members to support her hate crusade. That's why she had see hiding Nazis turn up to support her hate rally in Melbourne, Australia, it's why Keen Minchel used to have a Nazi Barbie as her social media icon. It's why she wants to undermine abortion to slow the Great Replacement, a Nazi conspiracy. It's why one of the people she turned to to try and help her sell the lie that she isn't a Nazi is fellow Nazi slash convicted wife beater Abby Yemeni of Rebel Media. The PR man for known British Nazi, Stephen Christopher Yatesy Lennon, aka Tommy Robinson. On the convicted wife-beater point specifically, since Key Mitchell claims to be fighting to protect women, Avi Yemeni pleaded guilty to both malicious communications and physical battery against his now ex-wife in 2019, including throwing a chopping board hard enough that left a contusion on her forehead. He even left her to finish making his dinner, because that is, in his mind, what a woman is, a food-slash-sex dispenser turned occasional punching bag. That is who Ms. Key Mitchell turned to as an alternative to mainstream media. That is who she turned to as a champion for women's rights, proudly mirroring their interview to her own channel in 2023, directly promoting him. A man who physically assaulted his wife as she made him dinner, and then left her, quite literally battered and bruised, to finish making it. By the way, I have a whole playlist of videos, all fully referenced, detailing Key Mitchell's disaster of a tour across both Australia and Aotearoa, so do check those videos out if you'd like to understand more about the gender critical movement and the Lit Women Speak brand specifically. Bringing us to the main topic of today's video, which was brought to my attention by someone responding to a Turning Point UK post, which shared a video alongside the caption that quote, A female steward at the Lit Women Speak rally in Hyde Park was violently attacked by a radical transgender activist mob. End quote. Wow, a female steward was violently attacked by a radical transgender activist mob? Is it something in the water? What the hell is going on? Well, Let's watch the video to find out. So we got we got stewards who are part who are part of Let Women Speak. We've got stewards who are obviously close to the line and say. Unfortunately, a lady, a lady steward has just been pulled into that and she's been thrown to the ground and she's been assaulted by the mob. She was grabbed and pulled into the mob where she was then assaulted? That's what you saw? Because not only does your video fail to show that, but I have a second video that shows what happened from a different angle. So why don't we play that to see just how dishonest you are? <laughs> Get 
So we can clearly see the Lit Women Speak steward assaulting human rights protesters, ramming their banner in an attempt to destroy it, going so far as to turn around when she fails to do so, and try to have another go. All whilst the mob tells their steward to get out and fuck off. More stewards then run in to try and get her to stop, before police step in and finally remove her, separating the two groups once again. That's what these shits are rewriting as a steward being pulled in and assaulted by a radical transgender activist mob? That is a deliberate lie, if I've ever seen one. Though I guess I shouldn't expect any better from a fascist commentator. Because yes, Turning Point UK is the very definition of fascism. Fascism is an ideology that presupposes society is going through a state of social decay, aka degeneracy, in allowing marginalised people to exist. In this instance, trans people. Fascists then posit violent ultranationalism as the response to said social decay, eradicating the existence of said people, proposals that are currently underway in both the US and the UK, efforts supported by Turning Point, just like the rest of the so-called gender-critical movement, a fact more and more people are becoming aware of. This is actually a possible reason for why we're seeing an increase in this sort of behaviour. Just last week, I covered the attempts by anti-trans flasher Elaine Miller to provoke a response in human rights protesters at the University of Edinburgh by attempting to rip their placards out of their hands and physically touching them. She thankfully failed. Then, just as I finished recording this video, another incident appeared on my radar, this time having taken place on the 2nd of April at another key Mitchell rally. We see a member of the gender critical movement, seen here with Mario McLachlan, lashing out unprovoked. The man punches the person holding the camera and tries to goad them into fighting back, all whilst Mario McLachlan says absolutely nothing. Interesting that, isn't it? Point is, there seems to be an increase in attempts to provoke trans people, which possibly relates to the public's perception of their movement changing. Following the Melbourne rally, it's become difficult for those subscribing to the gender-critical ideology to deny their fascist origins. When people hear Kelly J. Key Minchel or Lit Women Speak, they see Nazis marching down modern streets. So the attempts to provoke a reaction in trans people almost seems part of a concerted effort to get an incident like that of Hyde Park in 2017, video on that links below, that they can then run to the papers with and rewrite things as trans people versus feminists rather than human rights protesters versus literal fascists. It's an attempt to recapture an old narrative, and thankfully, they don't seem to be having much success. That Turning Point UK, a known fascist group, was one of the only handful of sources really reporting on things in this manner, shows just how quickly the landscape has changed following Keen Mitchell's disaster of a tour in Australia and Aotearoa. Whereas before, much of the UK press would have been tripping over itself to interview the woman in question and present said fascist as the poor victim of the evil transgenders, the only article that seems to have done that, at least at the point of writing this, is the Daily Fail. Which, go figure, it is the Daily Fail. Now, I don't know if this is only temporary, the UK press might be waiting for people to forget the images from Melbourne, but I hope that this is a new norm going forward. I hope that we start seeing a less sensationalised news cycle when it comes to clashes between human rights protesters and fascists. I hope things can start to heal. And if nothing else, Turning Point UK can get fucked for trying to lie to people in order to try and whip up anti-trans violence. It's ironic how a movement that ends its videos with the phrase question, challenge, fight back, emphasis mine, is doing everything it can to pull the wool over people's eyes. But what can I say? That's fascism for you. If you appreciate what we do here and want to help out, 
please consider becoming one of our wonderful patrons who make our work possible. On that note, we'd just like to thank the following people. Matthew Kovac, Gert Van Voors, Hannah Banghart, Marble Wings, Sosh Daniels, Flynn, and Higgins the Seagull. And from myself, Adita, and Levi, take care now.